Good evening. I had an interview with Joe Kilpatrick and Rod Stowe, and the play is called As Is. The story is two gay men, and also it's about having AIDS in New York City. Hello, this is Wayne Enrico with Traverse City Theater Scene, and I'm sitting with Joe Kilpatrick and Rob Stowe. They're the two stars of the upcoming As Is play, uh, showing at the Studio Theater. Gentlemen. Hello. Hi. So, Joe, what's your character about? Uh, Saul is a uh, middle-aged uh, gentleman who is involved with uh, a younger man um, who has found a new partner. So, Saul, my character, is sort of left in the lurch uh, and does not want to let go. I'm also probably one of the only people, when it's discovered that he has AIDS, I'm one of the only people that will have anything to do with him, and I don't care that he has AIDS. I love him, and it it's, doesn't make any difference to me. He needs me, I need him, I will take care of him. So I'm sort of the caregiver of this whole thing, too. Rob, tell us a little bit about the character of Rich. Rich is uh, an up-and-coming writer and uh, started a catering business, and right before he found out he has AIDS, and he found out he has AIDS pretty early on in the show, um, and it makes him very angry, as it would a lot of people. At the time, it was kind of a death sentence, and he's scared of it, he doesn't know what to do about it. He doesn't even tell Saul for quite a ways into the show, um, for the same reasons a lot of people keep secrets like that. Um, so he's really conflicted and confused and trying to work through all the issues that come with being diagnosed with a really fatal disease, especially at the time of the work being written. Have either of you personally had any experience with friends or family that have uh, uh, been victims of the aid? Uh, I, I, I had when I was living in New York. I was in New York from 1980 through 1985 and uh, I lost a couple of friends. It just doesn't I mean, back then it was they, nobody had a clue what to do about it. We don't, we didn't have uh, the program of medication and care that we have now so that we can deal with it. It was, in essence, a death sentence back in 1985. So. And I think that's one of, one, of the, one of the ways that the humor comes through uh, and why there is humor in this play, because it was one of the few ways that they had to deal with it. I had a very good friend named Joseph Martin who uh, died from AIDS, and that's how he handled it. He, uh, he was a trooper and singing all the way to the very end. And, uh, uh, I think the uh, gay community at large uh, in the Trevor City area will turn out in force to see it. It's an issue that um, uh, it plays a part in their lives. I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's not as nasty as it used to be, but it's still there. Uh, you have a pretty sizable cast. What, what's it like working with that many actors? It's kind of cool to see everyone's characters evolve as we go through the process and you know different people have taken on several roles and so at one moment you'll see one person play someone who is very emotionally involved and happy and then another instant you know a completely different character so it's cool to see the number of characters that are in the show 37 i think we counted um and with even 15 we have total, so that's quite a few people playing different roles. It's cool to see. How do you feel that the audience will leave after the production is over with? What type of mood do you think that they're going to be in? Well, uh, my hope is on a couple of different fronts. Uh, one is that they realize um, the enormity of this disease. Um, and another, maybe even more important aspect of it is to have uh, an understanding that issues that confront gay couples, mortality, disease, uh, support, encouragement, uh, love, uh, are not that much different than they are with heterosexual couples. So hopefully it dispels a certain amount of uh, fear or anxiety that people have about gay people in general. Um, so that they leave understanding they're human beings just like the rest of us. Uh, so, when do you open?
We do a benefit, benefit performance on Thursday and open to the public this coming Friday. The 6th? Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> so, as far as roles that you've played in your life, Rob, uh, where would you rate this as far as challenging? This is a, a whole different kind of challenge for me because most of the roles I've done are musical theater roles, often really comic roles, physical roles. So this is a very different role because it takes my acting to a different point where I have to be, I don't, I don't want to say that my other roles were one dimensional, but they had far less depth than this one does. Good question, Joe. Um, my, um, I find this, uh, for me it's a nice, nice stretch. Um, only because I have, uh, last year we did musical comedy Murders in 1940, and I played a very flamboyant uh, gay man from the 40s. Uh, and this is a, as a straight actor, is a n nice challenge for me to be able to play a gay person and not be over the top with it, and not be, and yet at the same time, have people understand that I have those feelings. So to make it real and yet believable at the same time uh, is the challenge for me, and I'm, and I'm loving it. I'm finding it very, very interesting, and it's been a lot of fun working on this project. So. Joe, Rob, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.